I heard a story years ago. Someone asked a Chinese brethren about when did he think the Great Tribulation would start? And the Chinese brother answered, we've been going through the Great Tribulation for the last hundred years. What do you mean when is it going to start? My point is not to make a point about eschatology, but just to make a point that it is not unusual in the kingdom of heaven when we suffer for the sake of Christ. It's unusual when we do not. Now what must you do? Prepare. Prepare for what? Prepare to survive? Yes. Survive. But not just to survive. To go forward. This is not a time for small hearts and tight spirits. Shabby little egotistical I want my best life now kind of Christianity. This is a time to do great things. Heroes are not made in times of peace. There are no acts of valor in calm waters. I don't recall who it was, but a, a military man on the field, a commander, his man came up to him and said, I believe it was Captain. The enemy is to the north. The enemy is to the south. The enemy is to the east. The enemy is to the west. We are surrounded. And the captain said, wonderful. There's no way they'll get away now. <laughs> Let me show you a passage that someone ought to write a book about. Because it's been lost. Because it seems... Well, let me just... Let me read it. Let me read you. And I would guarantee that if I read this and didn't tell you it was in the Bible, some of you would think that I got it from Spartan literature. Look how Paul describes a Christian. Now just listen. To those who by perseverance in doing good seek for glory and honor and immortality. Does that not sound like something pulled out of a, a Spartan you know, book of war. I am so tired of this effeminate passive pitiful monkish Christianity. The kind that does this and cowers. It's not we, what we see here. We, what do we see? Seeking for glory. You know, if this wasn't in the Bible, immediately some of you said, no, we're not supposed to seek for glory. We're supposed to seek for the glory of God. Well, actually, Jesus talks about it being good to seek glory from God. Not just seeking the glory of God, but seeking glory from God. Let, just look for a moment. Just, just look over at, at John 5.44. He says, talking to the, the, the leaders of the day, how can you believe when you receive glory from one another and you do not seek the glory that is from the one and only God? Jesus put his seal on it. And so Paul is not wrong, is he? There should be a sense. And not just in you men. But in you women. That you desire. There's something in you. That wants to fight. Until your name is called. And you drop your sword. And you pass through those gates bloody and beaten, looking for a smile. Well done. 
Well done.